Hello once again, Star Wars and Unboxing fans. Welcome to another episode of Darth Tuba's Star Wars Unboxing Show. I'm your host, Darth Tuba. So today we have two items, uh, fairly new, uh, Last Jedi related, and I'm really excited about both of them. They're both exclusives. We have our first, we're going to talk about our Luke Skywalker um, Black Series 6-inch Jedi Master, okay, which is actually a, um, which comes with a base. Okay, so that's the exclusive part. I believe this is a Target exclusive, or a, uh, I should probably know this for sure, but <laughs> I believe it's a Target exclusive, um, and, uh, you know, just, it. I've been seeing it, passing it, passing it by, there's what it looks like, and it's, you know, out of here, okay? And again, I believe the figure is pretty much the same figure that we've seen, but, you know, I do like the idea of, um, the uh, the base. There's been a few of these that have come out. I think we've had a few uh, Ray uh, figures uh, in training. Ray on on the on the uh, Star Killer base, the so things of that nature. So this is one, and then the other one was an Entertainment Earth exclusive that just came in the mail this week, and that is the four pack Battle on Crate, which includes who do we have here? We have the um, well includes uh, Ray Crate Defense. A uh, Rose Crate Defense, uh, First Order Gunner, and First Order Walker Driver. So um, I think all four of these figures, except Ray might have been, Ray might just be a, a quick repaint, and I think Rose also a quick repaint, or at least um, a slight different, slightly different tooling. It comes with a poncho that, that is removable. Um, the other two figures, I think, were repaints of certain types. So I, you know, I think it's warranted, warrants it. And since they are, um, Force Link, we can check out what the Force Link um, badge will say about them. So why don't we start with Luke. Uh, and as I said, I already have the Luke, um, but I just, I don't know. I mean, I well, I will say this, uh, as I've mentioned in the earlier episodes, I haven't been a huge fan of the packaging of uh, the Black Series, of all the packaging that's come out in the last, like, 40 years. And by the way, this is the 40th anniversary of Star Wars toy collecting. Um, you know, some people might say, well, no, the movie came out 41 years ago. I said, yes, that's true. But if, you know, anybody who uh, studies anything about Star Wars collecting and its history knows that they weren't prepared for the success of Star Wars. So no company wanted the Star Wars uh, license for toys and to, except for Kenner. And Kenner got into the game late. And by the time the movie, you know, by the time they got started, the movie was ready to come out. It was a major success. But they couldn't get anything out there until the, uh, the following year. 1978. So that's why they did the whole empty box thing, and they had the early bird certificate, which we've talked about. Um, but now, we are 40 years, 2018, 40 years away, for, away from that very first year of Star Wars toy collecting. So um, since then, there have been many awesome things about the packaging of Star Wars, and, and you know, and there are some things I keep in the package, because I enjoy seeing them in the package. I think that the packaging is really cool. But Black series, not so much. Um, the you know the the line art, the 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 um, the design of it, it, it's nice. This is a little nicer because it's a little bit more. A lot of times it's just a flat black box with just a little bit of a of a of a shaded character on the side. This one at least has a little bit more of a of a, of a hard drawing. But anyway, not a big fan of the packaging. So this has not been a challenge for me to do. So you know, and I haven't been upset about it. So. So the Luke figure, pretty good. I'm trying to remember. Looks like it comes with something. Um, oh, <laughs> he. <laughs> this is his uh, spare, his fisted hand, his fisted hand. Oh, one little tiny ex extra accessory. Um, Hasbro, I don't know if we really needed that. I guess if you wanted to pose him holding a lightsaber, I could understand that. Although I will say, the way it is set up right now, I'm actually going to, this is one, sometimes I keep boxes, whenever there's a box, whenever there's an accessory like that, even though it's one accessory, one little tiny thing, um, I do like to keep it so we have a, in case the time comes, if I ever want to part with it, 
All right, so we have Luke. We have Luke's robe, or his cape. All right, so I think I'm gonna do, is I saw something on the box here that was a pretty cool thing. I think I'm gonna try. The soft goods th these days are far better than they, than they used to be. I did this with the one where they where he kind of lifts off the hood. You know, he kind of is lifting off the hood there. Okay, get some close-up shots of this when we get closer. Looks like you have a couple of options here. I'm gonna try. You know, the base is a nice light piece of plastic, but gives you a few options. Let's see if I can get him on there. They're getting better. Oh, get your hand on there. Get your hand on there. There we go. So there we go. There's Luke with this removing up the hood. Okay. Pretty cool shot. I wonder if uh, this was originally going to be a Last Jedi, or sorry, Force Awakens figure because it is the very last scene of The Force Awakens, but also the very first scene of The Last Jedi. And I might have mentioned this in earlier episodes, but there's been some discussion online about what he's wearing here and why he treats it with such reverence. And there's been um, some theorizing, theorizing that it hasn't been said directly, although I can't speak for the novelization that's coming out soon, but uh, there has been some theories that suggest that when Rey first met up with Luke at the very end of Force Awakens and he was on the cliff, that he was getting ready to perform like a final Jedi rite, maybe he was going to end his life or maybe become one with the Force. Maybe there was something going on with that. Um, we'll never, I mean, we, they didn't make it very clear. Again, maybe the book will indicate something different, but think about it. But that's where we first saw him at the very end of Source Awakens, very beginning of Last Jedi. Then he kind of walks away, kind of angry, crotchety old man, throws a lightsaber over his, over his head, right? And then over his shoulder. Then he goes and he changes and he puts this down like very reverently, almost like, like, a, like a church robe or something. And he lays it down nice and flat wearing regular clothes or different clothes that he wears essentially the rest of the movie until Ray leaves. And, and, when, and after they have an argument and Ray leaves with the Falcon, the next scene is Luke back in this outfit with the flame he's going to light the tree. Talks to Yoda. And then he doesn't do it. And then what does Yoda do? By the way, spoiler alert, Yoda's in the movie. Um, you know, Spirit Yoda. Spirit Yoda calls upon lightning to do what Luke wasn't was going to do, but couldn't didn't have the strength to do. So then, what does Luke do? He climbs into the tree, or he tries to, and then the tree kind of explodes and pushes him out. I think he was trying to end his life. He was trying to end his life there. That's my thought. All right. I mean, I could be wrong. If you listen, to those watch. You know, give me your thoughts. Give me your thoughts on that. I think that's a pretty interesting thing. I mean, he always said the Jedi must end. It wouldn't make wouldn't. It's not that much of a stretch to think that. Now, whether he was just going to kill himself or try to do some ceremony that had him just like do like what ended up happening in the movie, him disappearing and becoming one with the Force. See, I don't call that death in the same way. Like just like when Obi Wan, you know, I think the idea with Obi Wan was when, when he was fighting Vader and he saw that you know one of Luke and the, and the others to get away, he kind of put his saves. So he put his like saber up like this, and Vader hit him, but he was gone. He didn't even hit, he, he was gone before his lightsaber hit the ground. So it makes you wonder, maybe that was all by design. So anyway, I theorize, who knows. But nonetheless, it's a cool figure. I like the base. It is definitely meant to be unboxed. It's definitely meant to be put like that. Otherwise, the base is sitting on the side. Why bother? So there it is. And, you know, the cloth cape is kind of nice. It's, it, it's, it's very um, flexible without it being plastic looking. So that's pretty cool. All right, so kudos on that one. Now we we'll get to the crate, the Battle of Crate. Okay, um, love the Battle of Crate. Thought that was a great way to end the movie. Um, again, you know, if you want a franchise to continue, you got to give things for people to talk about, and that's the thing. The people were talking about that, and that's what you need. If you don't have that, then oop, I'm in there. That's what I want. Thank you. You know, people are talking about it. You need to have people talk about it. Otherwise, it's boring. 
All right, so who do we have here again? Let's start with the first order gunner. Okay, now, you know, the, the first order designs of all their uniforms um, seem to kind of take a page out of the original trilogy, but, you know, seem, seemingly have a have a different type of design, uh, like a like a like almost an evolution, right? This guy's helmet, it's, I mean, I've only seen like bits and pieces of this in the movie, but um, it's pretty cool. It almost has a Vader quality to it, but it, then it has this kind of like protruding piece like this in the front that um, I sometimes wonder about form versus function. Um, the function of that seems a little strange, but then again, you know, it's kind of hard to imagine. A Reporting for duty. Scrabble all squads. Repeat. Scrabble all squads. Hmm. Okay. Well, he got one thing out. All right. Well, we'll keep him there. All right. So let's work on. Let's see what else we got. Work on the. What is this one? This first order Walker driver. Let's get him in here. It's like it, the operation of this has been kind of hit or miss, to be honest with you. Um, it works from time to time, and then sometimes it doesn't work. So it's hard for me to uh, just tap. Orders received. We need more troops. There you go. Call in the airstrike. See it. Orders received. We need more troops. Call in the airstrike. We need more troops. Call in the airstrike. Okay. Fight for the first order. Don't move. Pretty cool. Okay. So this one's again, I think some of it is just about it's about size. It's just not meant for my size of a of a hand or a wrist. See if I can give any more from this guy. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. A little more. No. Okay. Well, this guy doesn't want to like. He doesn't like this one. All right. Well, the the Walker driver seemed really good. All right. Let's get out Ray. Ray comes with uh, a ton of accessories. He's got. Got his per gun. Got his staff. I think I'm gonna holster the gun. I have a feeling that you're not gonna see her do too much with the gun anymore these days. Although she did try to kill Kylo Ren with it. Okay, we'll put this around, around her neck. We'll give it the lightsaber. Alright, get that in there. Okay. Now. What do we got? Um, pick up figure to activate. Yeah, see, it just doesn't want to. Oh. I think I can handle myself. That sounds. That's a Force Awakens line. I think I can handle myself. Get to the resistance base as soon as possible. I'm gonna go back to trying it the way I was doing it before, which was just to kind of. Hold it like this. I think I can handle myself. <laughs> I'm not leaving without you. Well, come on, we've got to stop them. <laughs> I'm not leaving without you. Yeah, it definitely works better when you get this a little bit closer. So that's a good thing. All right, Ray. Let's see if we can put it in. Still gonna try this guy. Reporting for duty. Resistance scum. Take yeah. cover. I think that's part Resistance of the problem. Scum. Take cover. Resistance scum. He just does not like the resistance. Okay, and our last one, certainly not least, is Rose Tico, my favorite character from the new one. Um, other than Luke Skywalker, of course. Now, Rose comes in kind of a two edge. She's got this, the poncho, and I think, I thought, you could take the poncho off. But I think I'm going to. 
You have to take her head off to take the poncho off. So that's what she looks like without the poncho. Okay, there you go. Um, either way, kind of works. Um, I think I'm going to keep the... Sorry, keep losing her head. Sorry. Sorry, Rose. All right. Um, there's been some uh, interesting discussion online about Rose in comparison to Jar Jar. Um, first of all, not a, not a big hater of Jar Jar. Didn't really love him either. Just kind of was there. You know, I didn't really care much one way or the other. But Rose was, I thought, a very likable character. Um, not, a com not a comic relief of any kind. Just had some funny moments. Um, a great person to pair up with Finn on their mission. Um, had a great backstory. I think it's great. And I look forward to seeing what she has coming up. I'm ready for my mission. Quickly, stormtroopers are coming. You can't give up on the resistance. Oh, she blew something up there. You can't give up on the resistance. Take cover. Blast him. Take cover. Blast him. Now, I don't know if that's actually uh, Kelly Marie Tran's voice. I think it might be, but it's not, it's not, I'm not 100% sure. So, I love the Force Link idea. I'm a little concerned that... For the solo figures, and that's some I didn't talk about news um, this week yet, but uh, the news, the main news that broke was, well, we talked a little bit last week about the um, the Java Sail Barge uh, bit, and the Java Sail Barge is, um, they're up to about 21 and change uh, backers, so, and with about 32 days left to go, or 31 days, or somewhere in that vicinity. That means that uh, they still have a little ways to go. And, um, you know, they're about 40% of the way there. There's been some research that kind of indicates that um, at this point you're going to start seeing when it gets closer, there's a lot of people that will end up um, becoming, becoming backers because they don't want to back something unless it's a sure thing. So the closer it gets to 5,000, the more people are going to, you know, take part in the... Uh, in the campaign, so we shall see. But um, uh, one of the other things that came out last week in, in, at Toy Fair was about the new solo toys, and, and one of the things I don't know if I mentioned in the last episode was that the to the solo toys were going to include the Force Link 2.0. So I guess they're they've worked out a few bugs, they've worked out a few things to uh, make it make it improved. I'm assuming it's going to also work with all the old ones. Um, Hopefully it does. We shall see. Um, my only complaint slash suggestion about the Force Link, other than the fact that it, 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 I wish it had a little bit better range because it didn't seem to work unless I'm like touching right on the toy. But I'd like to see it work with the Black Series figures too. I don't think that that's um, you know a, it's a minor addition, even if it's the same stuff. You know, just I think it would be a nice little addition to have that feature with uh, the Black Series. Although I know the Black Series is geared more towards adult collectors and this is more of a playability feature for the figures, for the smaller figures. So, you know, I can understand that too. But that'd be my only my only critique is to see if we can get um, get that for the um, the bigger figures as well. Or even the um, even the 12 inch Hasbro figures. So who knows? But anyway, that will do it for this episode. Loving the figures, loving the four packs. Um, keep making them, keep making And it, it was nice to see variants of all sorts and not just maybe three of the same figure in one different finger figure is finger it's nice to be able to spread it around so thank you so much for that hasbro and look forward to some more looking forward to um the, in the next couple of weeks we should be getting the toys for solo coming out so there'll be plenty of new unboxings for those i got a few sideshow items slash hot toys that'll be coming in the mail soon and I got a few older items that I'd like to un unbox and uh, show for you. So thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, share. Check me out on the Darth Tuba Star Wars Unboxing page on Facebook. We will have some more giveaways soon. And uh, Instagram and Twitter at Darth Tuba. Email me DarthTuba77 at gmail.com if you have any questions or leave comments below. And um, if you have any suggestions of the things to do some unboxings with or other episodes that you'd like to see any Star Wars related topics or ideas. I'm all, I'm all ears for it. Until then, we'll see you on the next episode. Thank you very much, and may the Force be with you.